In this video, I'm going to show you how you can scalp trend lines, have amazing risk versus reward. If you were like me and you use some lower time frames, you see trend lines, but you're not really sure if they work or not because you've been told that they don't. I like to find the evidence and come to my own conclusions. So this is what I did. I went through, I tested over the last couple of months, and I've noticed that they do work. The stats show they work. So that's where you're going to learn in this video, the how to trade them. You'll be seeing me trade with a live account. I'll walk you through step by step through each trade I'm taking as I'm taking it. You know, on this channel, there's no fluff, no BS, no guru jargon, just straight up value. So let's get right into it and give you guys what you came for, scalping on low time frames. All right. So I've already recorded the trades I took in here, but before we get into that, I want to go over some like rules of it here because there are some rules that are going to help you. And I feel like without me going over that, when we get into live trading, you're going to feel kind of lost. Okay. So time frames. you're going to do this on the one and 30 second chart. If you don't have the 30 second, you can do it on the one minute. You can do it on ES, but it's going to work better on NQ because NQ gives better risk versus reward in small trades and scalping because it's just it moves more right so you get a bigger move you could use es with more contracts but that's determining on your risk management so what kind of trend lines are we going to look for we're going to look for tight channels like this one this is the one that i traded in the video you'll see me trading it all the way down here and i'll talk you guys through exactly what i'm looking for and how i'm looking for pretty much i traded it like it was a live a live stream but it's not live so it'll be cleaned up a little bit and now i suspect you're wondering well why didn't you just do it on a live stream to be honest with you guys it's hard to trade while you're on live stream you're answering questions people are commenting on each every decision i'm making which is fine that that's the great part about live streams but it does distract me i was just going to make a video about trend lines and I saw a really nice one for me. And so I was like, you know what, fuck it. I might as well come in here and trade it because that's going to show them that it actually works. Because it's one thing to do it on replay. It's another thing to do it live and film it live and show it live. It's definitely a lot more powerful that way. Okay, so small trends. You can trade these bigger ones, but be aware that eventually this is going to happen to them and they're going to break. After about three pushes, you'll usually get a bigger reversal. There's a liquidity built up on trend lines. Stops are built here, stops are built there. Just like there is liquidity horizontal, there is liquidity at angles too. This is actually another good example. What are these trends right here on a higher time frame? Let me show you. And then you'll it will kind of click why they work so well. All right, here we are on a three minute. Boom, what is that? That's expansion phase. That is when we want to be scalping. We do not want to be scalping trends and trend lines in consolidation phase. And you had expansion downward, consolidation reversal, consolidation, reversal, expansion. So I saw some dude on there saying that expansion can't happen after reversal or it can't happen after expansion. But that's bullshit. Expansion and consolidation. You can exchange them for one another. It's just how it works. It's interchangeable. Okay, so we want to be small channels that are expansion on higher time frames. We want to be aware that liquidity builds up. And after a while, that liquidity is going to be, be taken, like here. Big trend down, taken the liquidity. Because as people are trading it downwards, stops are building up lower and lower and lower. That's our money right there. And then the rest of it, you guys are going to learn in the video. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the video into here. Now we want to see expansion happening on a higher time frame. That will give us a very tight trend to scalp. So there it goes my way. Always take some off as it goes your way. Because that's definitely going my way enough here. And there we go. Now I want to take one off as it goes my way. We had the trend originally it broke it to fill in balance came up now that we're getting expansion downward we should start to see a tighter channel form here if we go here connect those to each other like that 
Now, is it going to come all the way back up to this one is the question. All right. So now we can start to look for the trend to sharpen downward, get more into expansion phase. We're going to tighten this up a little bit now that we have two lower lows to put together. And then we can also put this lower low and this lower low together here. Gives you a little bit more of a tight channel here. Now you want to see it respect the new channel that we put up. If not, then we're wrong. We need to adjust it back to how it was. A lot of times you're better off putting it on closes of candles and the wicks like that. Now I'm going to add on to it as it has shown that it is respecting it. We had the fill of the fair value gap. We're not going to ignore ICT concepts. We're going to use it with it. We get one drop, two drop. We want to see it disrespecting bullish fair value gaps and respecting bearish ones. So we had a respect of a bearish one and now it's disrespecting a bullish one. Clues in the price action are going to lead us to a better understanding. All right, boom, right there. I'm take one off. Now, when we get to the bottom of this channel here, I want to see it touch it and then go through it. I want to see it sharpening. I want to see the trend sharpening downward. Now, what I'm looking for is one time framing meaning each candle isn't going above the previous candle's high. I'm going to stay in as long as that's happening. See if this channel starts expanding or if it's going to go sharper down. So if it goes above that candle's high there, I'm going to exit the position because then it's likely to come back up there and I don't want to be long in that situation, right? This allows me to stay in when it's going downward quickly expanding. It allows me to not give back too much and fail the evaluation. Okay, so now we're at the other side of this trend line. We should be expecting price to bounce here. But it appears that the pressure is still downward. Still one time framing down. There it broke one time frame, so I'm going to exit. Now, you guys are seeing, hopefully, that this works, right? And then it's still continuing downward. That means expansion downward. So we need to adjust this to this new channel forming here. Because as it increases the downward pressure, it's going to um, form a newer channel here. And usually they're tighter and they are uh, smaller tight channels, which are better for us. See how it does it? As it goes up, it gets a little bit tighter. And that's what we're looking for here. Same thing here. It tightens up as it goes lower, like right there. But we want to take a fib and see where we're at. Are we getting into OTE? We just entered optimal trade entry. We're in a discount. Now we want to see it come up to the top of this and respect it like it just did. We can be pretty sure it's probably going to come back up to this one, right? There's also a small weird looking trend there. But what we want to see is it come up to here to give us another short entry. And then now we want to connect these two newer lower lows together. Let's see, almost got there, but it didn't quite touch it. There we go. That's what I'm looking for there. I'm going to enter one short. I'm going to put my stop right above this imbalance. It dipped into the fair value gap, and now it looks like it's rejecting lower. And now it's rolled over. I'm going to add on that second one, add on to my stop here. I'm going to realize that it could come up to here. That's a possibility, but we know that's tightening up as it's going downward. And you're probably asking, like, why didn't you do this on live stream? Because it's a lot more difficult when people are asking you questions. You're having to react to what the people are saying. When you're about to enter your trade, people are giving their opinions on it, which is great, but it causes self-doubt. Am I sure they're thinking this? I'm thinking that. It's just a lot more difficult to do. But as you can see, there's no replay here. This is a top step account. I just started it before I started this video, so I'm already $600 using just trend lines. That's it. I'm looking at ICT's concepts and I'm aware of them. I'm using them as clues to help me decide. But it's just mostly trend line. I'd say it's 70% trend line, 30% ICT. And then a little bit of market profile because I'm using one time framing. 20% ICT, 70% trend line trading. And then the rest is just good old market profile, which is just one time framing. I'm going to take one off into expansion here. There we go. I'm going to take that one off. I'm going to understand this is third push. One, two, three in this channel. The micro trend is continuing though. Like there's no reason to exit this trade yet as of now. But we're going to be aware that there is a 
bigger trend downward, right? Like you can see it pretty clearly and it ends right about there. If a bigger bounce is incoming, it's likely to happen soon. We haven't touched this other, this side of the trend line yet. We're coming into the other side. Make this one a different color so we know what it is. That's the bigger trend down. So now we come into another touch here. Does it respect it and does resistance? It does. So now I'm going to add on there. This is how you can scalp and make a lot of money very quickly as long as you're agile with it and keep your risk small. And we're going to understand that this trend is on a three minute. These are just solid downward candles. So you got to understand after three or four of them happen, a green candle is likely to pop up to fill an imbalance here soon. So we're going to let this expansion happen. We're going to take one off quickly and not be greedy. There comes expansion downward. I need to move this because my risk isn't actually there. We're going to move our risk down as we go. This high that put in here, that is our new stop. So we're really only risking two points on this in reality. So it's $40 to make 100 That's a big RR on a trade, right? With that being said, I'm going to take one off right there. And then it leaves me with one. Now, you see it getting tighter here. We need to see expansion down for this trend con to continue. It broke the one time framing up. There's a fair value gap. This is a little ITOB here. Just be aware of. And we're getting into a discount for the day. We're going to look at time. It's 2.30, which that's a good time for the trend con to continue. Once we get into about 3, you should be looking for a short-term reversal. There's expansion downward that I wanted to see. Now I want to see if it's going to respect that blue line or it ignored it. So now it went going straight to the gray one. Boom. Taking that off. And then it continues down a little bit. So there's a thousand dollars that I've made so far just in this trend line. That's it. Wait in stock until you get a trend line that fits the rules. Now we've broken through this um here. Where is it wrong? Where are we wrong? Because it is going to form and respect these trend lines very well. So I'd say that that's where the new one is formed because as we continue downward, it is now getting steeper. You notice that? It's almost like it's making a circle, like a half circle. So let's put an arc on here. I'll show you what I mean. So see that? As the circle gets deeper, it's going to do what? It's going to get steeper as it goes. If that got steeper, we should suspect that this gets steeper as well let's put now this is where it comes tricky to where to find so we're going to make our own new trend we have a lower lower and connect those two together and this is where ict concepts come in and help a lot because we're waiting to see it respect that fair value gap we're going to trade after we see reactions right there's the respect of it i feel like i probably chased price there a little bit but that's all right because if it comes back up into here we'll just add on another one again Average win on these has been about three to four hundred dollars. Let's say three hundred. We need to make sure that our losses are around one fifty ish, so seventy five dollars per contract when it lock. Okay, now I'm pretty sure that it's going to respect this fair value gap. We're going to connect these two together like this and widen that up a little bit. See if we can connect these three touches here. That looks about right to me. All right. We're going to sell into expansion right there, buy one back, and then we should be expecting it to come down to here, right? And then this is low a day. There's also equal lows right here. There it goes downward. We have the trend on our side. So boom. Now I'm going to exit as soon as it stops going down. I should have exited there. I missed it though, right? I missed my exit. Now it's coming back in with some oomph here. Where did it go to? Let's see here. It still doesn't take low a day. I would think that this is going to hold, but like I said earlier, we still have one, two, third push down. You know, we're getting into the dangerous scalping here because a bigger pullback is likely to happen here soon. Like expansion only lasts for so long before it goes away, right? Looks like it's coming back up to test this ITOB. This trend line is holding. I'm going to add back again. And once we get back, over $75 per contract is just going to be 150 total. I'm going to look to take one off. I'm going to take one off there. I'm not going to be greedy. I missed my exit on this one. We can tighten this one up now. 
All right, so you guys see that this is not replay, right? I have proven to you in this video that trend lines work very well, right? I can't continue trading at this level for forever. It's just not in my personality. I start getting uh, sloppy and I'll start making bad choices. Okay. All right. So you saw the trend. You saw how I did it. You saw me make uh, about $1,200. The proof is in the pudding, right? You guys, I did it live. It's not on replay. It's the live market. And you saw me use good risk management. You saw me be patient. There is no degenerate trading going on here. It's just quality trading at a very high level, just using mostly trend lines. Hopefully this helps you guys make a lot more money. If you're interested in getting funded, check out my website. I will put the link in the description. It is verifiedfundingcompanies.com. And once you're on the homepage here, I have a couple blogs. I have my stories on here as well, like how I got into trading. If you go to about me section, join my newsletter. I send out a weekly newsletter with tips and tricks to pass funding evaluations, the newest news and discounts. Check that out. Blue Knox is one of my favorite companies. They have a good payout structure, very low prices for the valuations. You can get funded in five days. I've posted the proof of my payouts many, many times. They're legit. Apex Trader Funding, another great company. I really like them because you can use TradingView and they're also low priced as well. They paid out over $8 million to traders last month alone. Take Profit Traders and new guys on the block. I really like them. I like their owner. I like their payout system. It's very quick. They drop deal just like the rest of them, but I was able to get my payout in one day after asking for it. They have a cool dashboard, Top Step Trading. Pretty much everyone knows about them. If you want the discount, make sure you click on the picture or that button there because that's what's going to send you to the discount. And the same with these guys, all of them really. These are companies you can trust and depend on. But they're not going to fuck you over. They're not going to get shut down. They're legit. I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know in the comments if you guys are going to use this. Catch y'all later.